Beside me is the Terex Infantry Carrier Vehicle and it's part of SAS Step Forward in forging a third generation army. Now before we go on further, let's check out some of the features this new bad boy has. The Terex Infantry Carrier Vehicle is part of the new networked fighting force that's able to connect soldiers to air and land platforms. This will ensure a swift and accurate delivery of information and firepower in the battlefield. The 13 soldier carrier weighs 24,000 kg and tears through terrain at a top speed of 105 km per hour. The smart, armored vehicle has the following key features which will help keep the soldier safe so he can complete his mission and win the battle. Closed hatch driving, all round surveillance, vehicle navigation, Terex battle management system, blue force tracking, red force marking, remote controlled weapon, and a weapon detection system. How does it detect which direction the weapon is firing from? Okay. The weapon detection system works on um, uh, acoustics. Basically, it compares the muzzle blast and the shock wave, triangulates to get the position of uh, where the enemy is. Okay. And what was the rationale behind uh, having the remote controlled weapon system? Uh, one of the main uh, reasons for the remote control weapon station is to allow close hatch operations. As we go into urban terrain, we want to keep the soldiers protected under, under hatch. Uh, so the weapon station being on the outside allows the soldier to have this uh, capability to take out the, the adversaries while being protected in the vehicle. The battlefield management system is the heart of the system. It connects the major subsystems of the vehicle, for example, the weapon detection system, the all-round surveillance system, and the close hatch driving system into one. And from there, the, the troops are able to control operations. Let me give you an example. For example, the weapon detection system. When the sniper snaps, snipes at the weapon, um, the weapon detection system will detect the weapon. It will pinpoint where the enemy is on the battlefield management system. And because the battlefield management system is also connected to the, wrong, uh, the remote control weapon station, the, with the press of button, the troop can seal the, seal the weapon to the enemy target. What other new technologies do you see as um, being integral to like the third generation fighting force? Okay. I think the, the key the key words um, spoken by the commander it's network and motorization. Um, the vehicle is not only networks it's in its own systems within the vehicle, it's also able to connect itself to the bigger picture of the 3G SAF where they can call on different uh, kind of uh, support, fire support to help them in the battle. Okay, what are the challenges you see in urban operations? In urban operations, like what the commander has mentioned, all right, we have deal with OPEC, uncertain intelligence situation and so on. What we have is we allow our sensor to link with our soldiers as well as perform. That provides us a very clear situation awareness whereby we can actually move in with our network capability for precision maneuver and at the same time, we share precision information and fire to move in and neutralize the enemy. Now if you're curious about the Terex, it will be on show at the Army Open House which starts today. The vehicle will officially be launched on the 5th of September. For more on the new Terex ICV, check out the other clips on Razer TV.